everybody, it's Kathy Toso here at Win Win with Toso or Win Win Real Estate Study Course. And I am on here showing you my version of a crash course, which is called the Key Refresher Course. As you can see, it's set up like a uh, Jeopardy board. Based on the cone of learning, adults learn easier or more efficiently when they are presented with an answer and then have to come up with the question themselves, which is what this uh, course was based on. So this is property for 200. So let's check it out and um, see if we get any good information for you today. Okay, so the answer is the rights or interest in the thing owned. And this is called real property. So if you really think about it, what do you really own when you own real property, right? You can't take it with it with you when you go. So what you really own is what you can actually do with it, which are called the rights or interests in the thing own, um, which is also called the bundle of rights theory. Um, basically, you know, the right to use, possess, encumber, which means like either encumber physically or financially with a lien, um, give away, um, deed, reconvey, transfer, those are all the things you get to do with your real property. And that's what you really own. If you think about it, if you owned a piece of land somewhere and you weren't allowed to do anything with it, you weren't allowed to walk on it, you weren't allowed to sell it, what would you really own? So when we do own real property, what we really own is a bundle of rights, the rights to do things with our property. Another kind of interesting thing that I try to point out is when uh, new people, somebody who's maybe never owned property before buys a property, they think, oh my God, I can do whatever I want with my property property. The reality of it is, is almost all property is encumbered. And the reason I say this is because literally, if you could drill a hole to China, right, if you could drill a hole in your property and make a tunnel all the way to China, would you be allowed to do that? No. If you could build a ladder to the moon, right, and actually have a ladder that would go all the way to the moon, would you be allowed to do that? No. So some of the test questions will say, well, which property has no encumbrances? The reality of it is, is all property is encumbered in some ways. We can't actually do everything we want with our property. Um, and the goal is to obviously buy property that you can do a lot of things with. I hope you're having a great day. I look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to text me at 818-679-3696 or visit me at winwinwithtoso.com. See you soon.